In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked in Shopify job interviews. These questions cover a range of topics, including technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and knowledge of e-commerce best practices. Each question will be paired with insightful answers to help candidates prepare effectively. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced professional, this guide aims to enhance your confidence and readiness for your next Shopify interview. 1. Can you describe a time when you had to troubleshoot an issue with a Shopify store? During a project for a client, we noticed that the checkout process was experiencing significant delays, causing cart abandonment. I began by reviewing the store's performance metrics and identified that a third-party app was conflicting with the checkout functionality. Collaborating with the app developer, we pinpointed the exact issue and implemented a fix. I also optimized images and reduced unnecessary scripts, which improved loading times. After these adjustments, the checkout process was seamless, and the store saw a noticeable increase in completed transactions. 2. What strategies do you use to improve the user experience on a Shopify store? Improving user experience on a Shopify store involves several strategies. First, I focus on intuitive navigation, ensuring that categories and products are easily accessible. Implementing a clean, visually appealing design is crucial. I use high-quality images and consistent branding. Next, I optimize page load speed, as slow sites can deter potential customers. Providing detailed product descriptions and customer reviews enhances credibility. Integrating responsive design ensures seamless browsing on mobile devices. Lastly, I employ user feedback tools to gather insights and iterate on the design based on actual user behavior. 3. How do you approach customizing a Shopify theme for a client's specific needs? Customizing a Shopify theme begins with understanding the client's branding, goals, and target audience. I conduct a thorough consultation to gather requirements and preferences. After that, I analyze the existing theme to identify areas for customization, ensuring alignment with best practices. Next, I utilize Shopify's theme editor along with custom CSS, JavaScript, and Liquid to implement changes. Regular communication with the client during this process is crucial to ensure their vision is realized. Testing is performed across devices to guarantee a seamless user experience. Finally, I provide training on managing new features. 4. What tools do you use for testing the performance and speed of a Shopify store? For testing the performance and speed of a Shopify store, I utilize several tools. Google PageSpeed Insights provides insights into page loading speeds and optimization opportunities. GT Metrics is another favorite, offering detailed reports on performance metrics and suggestions for improvement. I also rely on Pingdom for real-time monitoring of site speed and uptime. Additionally, Shopify's own online store speed report can be helpful in identifying specific areas of concern. Combining these tools allows for a comprehensive analysis and targeted enhancements to improve user experience. 5. Can you explain how Liquid works in Shopify and how you've used it in your projects? Liquid is a template language created by Shopify that allows developers to load dynamic content on e-commerce websites. It uses variables, objects, filters, and tags to create custom themes and functionality. I have utilized Liquid in several projects for creating custom sections, modifying product displays, and implementing conditional logic. For instance, I used Liquid to customize the way product variations were displayed based on customer preferences, enhancing the user experience. This flexibility enables a tailored approach to each client's needs while maintaining high performance. 6. How do you handle product variations in Shopify? When handling product variations in Shopify, I start by utilizing the variant feature available in the product settings. Each product can have multiple options, such as size, color, or material. I ensure that each variant has a unique SKU and proper inventory management to avoid overselling. To enhance user experience, I implement drop-down menus or swatches for easy selection. Additionally, I use Shopify's bulk editor to streamline updates and modifications across multiple variants efficiently. This approach allows for precise control over product listings and inventory tracking. 7. What is the role of the Shopify API, and how have you used it in your work? The Shopify API serves as a powerful interface that allows developers to interact with Shopify stores programmatically. It enables tasks such as retrieving product details, managing inventory, and processing orders. In my work, I've utilized the API to create custom applications that automate inventory updates and integrate third-party services like shipping and analytics tools. This automation not only enhances efficiency but also ensures data consistency across various platforms. By leveraging the API, I can build tailored solutions that meet specific client needs, improving their store's functionality and user experience. 8. How would you go about optimizing the checkout experience on a Shopify store? To optimize the checkout experience on a Shopify store, 
I would first analyze the current checkout flow to identify bottlenecks or pain points. This includes reviewing card abandonment rates and gathering user feedback. Next, I would simplify the checkout process by reducing the number of required fields and offering guest checkout options. Implementing features like autofill for address fields and providing multiple payment options enhance convenience. Additionally, ensuring that the checkout page is mobile-friendly and visually appealing can improve user satisfaction, ultimately increasing conversions. 9. Can you explain how to use tags effectively in Shopify to manage products? Tags in Shopify serve as a powerful tool for organizing and managing products. By assigning relevant tags to products, you can create collections, enhance search functionality, and improve navigation for customers. For effective tag management, start by developing a consistent tagging strategy based on product attributes or categories. Use descriptive tags that are easy to understand, and avoid over-tagging to maintain clarity. Additionally, regularly review and update tags as your product offerings change, ensuring that they remain relevant and helpful for both customers and store management. 10. What steps do you take to ensure a Shopify site is mobile-friendly? To ensure a Shopify site is mobile-friendly, I start by selecting a responsive theme that automatically adjusts to various screen sizes. I prioritize mobile optimization by testing the site's design with tools like Google's mobile-friendly test. Additionally, I minimize loading times by optimizing images and using efficient coding practices. Ensuring buttons and links are easily clickable on smaller screens enhances user experience. Regularly reviewing mobile analytics helps identify and address any specific issues users may encounter on mobile devices. 11. How do you manage inventory effectively in Shopify? Managing inventory effectively in Shopify involves utilizing the platform's built-in inventory tracking features. First, ensure that each product variant has accurate stock levels by updating quantities regularly. Employing inventory management apps can help streamline tracking and provide insights into sales trends. Setting up low stock alerts allows for timely reordering of products. Additionally, categorizing products and using tags can simplify inventory organization. Regularly reviewing sales data helps identify slow moving items, enabling informed decisions about promotions or discontinuation. 12. Can you discuss your experience with Shopify Plus and how it differs from standard Shopify? Shopify Plus is designed for larger businesses that require more advanced features and customization options. One major difference is the capacity for higher sales volumes and more extensive product catalogs. With Shopify Plus, I have leveraged features like exclusive APIs, customized checkout processes, and advanced reporting tools. The increased flexibility allows for tailored solutions that cater specifically to unique business needs. Additionally, Shopify Plus offers dedicated support and a higher level of security, making it an ideal choice for brands looking to scale effectively while maintaining a robust online presence. 13. What are some common pitfalls to avoid when setting up a Shopify store? When setting up a Shopify store, one common pitfall is neglecting to choose the right theme that aligns with the brand identity and user experience. Another issue is failing to optimize product descriptions and images, which can impair search visibility and customer engagement. Additionally, many store owners overlook the importance of setting up proper shipping rates and tax settings, leading to unexpected costs during checkout. Lastly, not integrating essential apps for marketing, analytics, and customer support can hinder growth and operational efficiency. Ensuring proper planning and execution can mitigate these issues. 14. How do you make your Shopify stores compliant with data protection regulations? To ensure compliance with data protection regulations, I implement several key practices. First, I keep abreast of relevant laws, such as GDPR and CCPA. I incorporate clear privacy policies on the store's website, informing customers about data collection and usage. Implementing features like cookie consent banners is essential for transparency. I also ensure that customer data is securely stored and only accessible to authorized personnel. Regular audits of data processing activities help identify and rectify potential compliance gaps. Lastly, I train staff on best practices regarding data protection and privacy. 15. What's your approach to creating and managing discount codes in Shopify? Creating and managing discount codes in Shopify involves several key steps. First, I analyze the marketing goals to determine the type of discount that aligns with those objectives, whether it's a percentage off, a fixed amount, or free shipping. I then navigate to the Discounts section in the Shopify admin, where I can create a new discount code, setting parameters such as usage limits and expiration dates. Regular monitoring is essential to assess the performance of the discount codes, making adjustments as needed based on customer response and sales data. Communicating these codes effectively through email marketing or social media is crucial for maximizing their impact. 16. How do you utilize Shopify's analytics to improve a store's performance? 
Shopify's analytics provides valuable insights into customer behavior and sales trends. For instance, if a specific product page has a high bounce rate, I investigate its content and layout. Additionally, I monitor cart abandonment rates and analyze the checkout process to pinpoint friction points. Using this data, I implement changes and test them, ensuring that adjustments lead to measurable performance enhancements. This iterative process drives continuous improvement in the store's performance. 17. Can you explain the importance of app integrations in enhancing a Shopify store? App integrations play a crucial role in optimizing a Shopify store's functionality and user experience. They allow merchants to extend the platform's capabilities by adding features that cater to specific business needs, such as inventory management, customer relationship management, and marketing tools. Integrating apps can streamline operations, automate processes, and provide valuable insights into customer behavior. Additionally, well-chosen apps can enhance the overall shopping experience by offering personalized recommendations, seamless payment options, and effective communication channels, ultimately driving sales growth and customer satisfaction. 18. What experience do you have with Shopify's multi-currency features? Shopify's multi-currency features allow merchants to sell in various currencies, enhancing the shopping experience for international customers. I have implemented this feature in several projects, enabling seamless transactions across different regions. This involves configuring the Shopify payment settings to support multiple currencies, ensuring accurate currency conversion rates, and customizing the storefront to display prices in the customer's local currency. Additionally, I have integrated geolocation apps to detect user location and suggest the appropriate currency, improving user satisfaction and conversion rates. 19. How do you ensure that a Shopify store is accessible to users with disabilities? Accessibility in a Shopify store is vital for inclusivity. I start by following the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WCAG, to ensure all elements are navigable and usable by individuals with disabilities. This includes adding alt text for images, ensuring sufficient color contrast, and using semantic HTML for screen readers. I also test the site with keyboard navigation to confirm all functionalities are accessible. Regular audits and user feedback from individuals with disabilities help refine the user experience, ensuring compliance and usability for everyone. 20. Can you explain how to set up and use Shopify's social media integration features? To set up and use Shopify's social media integration features, start by navigating to the Shopify admin panel and selecting Sales Channels. From there, you can add social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. This allows you to create shoppable posts directly from your product catalog. Ensure your product information is complete, as this will enhance visibility. Utilize Shopify's built-in tools to connect your store with these platforms enabling seamless inventory management and order fulfillment. Regularly engage with your audience through posts and promotions to drive traffic back to your store. 21. What do you consider the most important metrics to track for a Shopify store? Tracking key metrics is essential for optimizing a Shopify store's performance. Important metrics include conversion rate, which indicates how well traffic is converted to sales. Average order value, AOV, helps assess customer spending habits. Customer acquisition cost, CAC, is vital for understanding the effectiveness of marketing efforts. Monitoring cart abandonment rates can highlight potential issues in the checkout process. Additionally, keeping an eye on traffic sources helps identify which channels drive the most sales. All these metrics collectively inform data-driven decisions to enhance store performance. 22. How do you approach automated testing and continuous integration for Shopify projects? Automated testing for Shopify projects involves setting up a robust testing framework that can verify code changes efficiently. I typically use tools like Jest for JavaScript testing and Cypress for end-to-end -end testing. Continuous integration is established using platforms such as GitHub Actions or CircleCI, which automate the testing process every time code is pushed to the repository. This ensures that any potential issues are identified early, maintaining code quality and stability while allowing for rapid development cycles. Prior to deployment, all tests must pass reliably. 23. Can you discuss your experience with Shopify's GraphQL API? Having worked extensively with Shopify's GraphQL API, I found it to be a powerful tool for optimizing data retrieval and manipulation. Unlike REST, GraphQL allows for more efficient queries, enabling us to request only the necessary data in a single call. This significantly improves the performance of our applications. I've implemented GraphQL to customize storefront functionality, manage product listings, and integrate third-party applications seamlessly. The flexibility in querying resources has streamlined processes, making it easier to deliver tailored solutions for clients and enhance their overall experience on the platform. 24. What strategies do you use to enhance the search functionality on Shopify stores? 
To enhance search functionality on Shopify stores, I focus on several strategies. First, I implement an intuitive search bar that suggests products as users type. Utilizing apps such as Searchanize or Instant Search Plus can significantly improve search results by providing filters and sorting options. I also ensure that product titles, descriptions, and tags are optimized for keywords relevant to the target audience. Implementing advanced features like synonyms and misspellings recognition increases search accuracy. Finally, analyzing search queries helps in identifying gaps in product offerings, allowing for continuous improvement of the search experience. 25. How do you handle data migration from other platforms to Shopify? When handling data migration from other platforms to Shopify, I begin by conducting a thorough assessment of the existing data and determining the specific requirements for the new Shopify store. This involves mapping out data fields to ensure compatibility. I then utilize tools like Shopify's built-in import features, CSV files, or third-party apps to facilitate the migration. After transferring the data, I conduct a meticulous review to identify and resolve any discrepancies, ensuring all product information, customer data, and order histories are accurate and up-to-date. Testing is crucial to confirm everything functions seamlessly post-migration. In this video, we explored the top 25 Shopify interview questions and provided detailed answers to help you prepare effectively. Whether you're a beginner or have experience in e-commerce, understanding these key concepts can significantly boost your confidence during interviews. Remember, being well prepared can make a world of difference in landing your dream job. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Your support helps us create more resources to assist you on your journey.